In this video, we have a cone which has an angle between the axis and the slant edge of 30 degrees. So that's the 30 degree angle there. Water is poured into the cone at a constant rate of 2 cubic centimetres per second. Right, that is the first bit of information we're given. We have centimetres cubed, which is a volume, per second, so time, so dv by dt is equal to 2. At time t seconds, the radius of the water surface is r centimetres, and the volume of the water is v cubic centimetres, or centimetres cubed. The volume of the cone, so we're given the formula, is one third pi r squared h. Find the value of dr by dt when r is equal to 2. So we want to find dr by dt. Now the only other variable that we've got is the volume, v. So we set up a chain rule for dr by dt, which is going to be dr by dv times dv by dt. Now we've got the dv by dt, we've got that sorted, but we don't have the dr by dv. So the only other bit of information I'm given is the volume of the cone formula. So v is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. So 1 third pi r squared h. But in order to get to dr by, by dv, I'm going to need dv by dr. So I need to differentiate this. But the problem is that I don't know what h is. So I can't differentiate this yet. I want to write this, uh, the h, in terms of r so I can differentiate it. OK? So how do I do that? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to focus in on the cross section of the cone. So think of this as a triangle, right angled triangle. So let's just redraw that. So here is right angled triangle where this is the radius, okay, r centimeters. And that's the height, okay, height of the water. And we know that that's going to be a 30 degree angle. OK, so using basic trigonometry, Sokotoa, I can write that tan of the angle, so tan of 30 degrees, is equal to the opposite r over the adjacent h. So r over h. So what is tan of 30? So tan of 30 degrees is root 3 over 3. So root 3 over 3 is r over h. And remember, I want to get h equals. So if I divide both sides by the root 3 over 3 and multiply both sides by the h, um, 1 over root 3 over 3 is 3 over root 3, which is just going to be root 3. So that's root 3 r. Let me just try and write that r a bit better. There we are. So there's h. So I now know h is equal to root 3 times r. So I can plug that into my volume formula. So the volume is 1 third times pi r squared times root 3 times r. So root 3 over 3 pi r cubed. Now I can differentiate it. So dv by dr. Differentiating this, the 3 comes down to the front, and I'm going to get root 3 pi r squared. So now I have dv by dr. I know that dr by dv is 1 over that. So I go back up here. dr by dt is going to be 1 over root 3 pi r squared times by dv by dt, which was 2. So this is 2 over root 3 pi r squared. Now, I want to uh, evaluate dr by dt when r is equal to 2. So I now need to substitute 2 into this. So I have 2 over root 3 pi times 2 squared 
like that. So 2 over root 3 times by pi times by 4. And we get 0 0.0919. Now that's to three significant figures. Now we want the units as well. We've got dr by dt, so the radius is in centimetres. Over time, which is in seconds. So the answer is 0 0.0919 centimetres per second to three sig fig.